This game is not very high tech. There's gotta be something else we can do. I'm so bored. Let's think of something else that we can do. Let's go explore. Come on, guys. Whoa, this place looks super cool. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Nobody cares if we're in here. This place looks deserted. Look over here, guys. I've heard about these old-timey gaming things before. Let me figure out how to plug this, this in. It looks older than you, Grant. I got it working. Our screen says Easter Quest. Choose your character. Goofy Grant, international explorer and researcher. Shayla the Strong, expert in weapons and leadership. Maddie the Magnificent, supportive and helpful. Cranky Casey, cargo carrier and research supplier. Hmm, who do I want to be? I'll be... Maddie the Magnificent. Anyone else think this is weird that our names are on the screen? I don't think we should do this. Don't worry about it. Let's play. I know, this seems super fun. Guys, I think we entered this game holographically. Physically, this seems impossible, but... But, but this is terrible. We look so good. Look at you all grown up. What are you saying, Maddie? Are you saying I'm old? Where's my phone? Let's take a selfie. Maddie, focus. Casey, what I think Maddie was saying was that we're adults. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's think about it. We're in this game for a purpose. Yes. And we've entered this game as selected avatars. What is the purpose of us being here, though? I, I think I know the purpose. See, we're here to study the ecosystem around us. The ecosystems are made of different animals coming together. Enough, and enough, that's, that's not it. Yeah, I'm assuming it's something more than that. Game pause. Welcome to Easter Quest. Mission objective. Your mission is to succeed as a team in finding the hidden gems in each level. Find all the gems Complete all the levels, and then you will have conquered Easter Quest. And on your journey, you will learn the greatest story of all time. Let me introduce you to your characters. Cranky Casey, you are supplied with a backpack of necessary items that are crucial in completing each level. Your attitude might need some improvement, but your resources can be a tremendous help in this quest. Goofy Grant, you have a wealth of knowledge which can aid your group to know more about where you are and what to do next. You might be unpopular in the group because of your know-it-all perspective, but your knowledge will advance the team's brain power. Maddie the Magnificent, you can be supportive and adaptive. You tend to focus on your outer appearance and materialistic things that can distract you, but you are a good friend to the others. Shayla the Strong. You are strong, courageous, and a leader. Oddly enough, your weakness is a fear of snakes. You know how to stay on track, remind others of what is most important, and your leadership can guide this team to success in learning the greatest story ever told. Resume game. Okay, that's the mission. Let's go find some gems. Uh, Sam, how can I help? Where are we? This is going to take too long. It, it, it kind of actually, I think, I think we're in the Amazon. It's actually the world's largest uh, rainforest that we are in right now, yes. And there's actually over 16,000 different species of trees and 2.5 million different species of insects, yes. Insects, can we chill on the facts so we can figure out how to get out of here? 
<laughs> Grant, thanks for those facts. But that is a lot of bugs, so let's be careful. So, um, what should our next move be? Okay, so we're gonna locate the gems. Casey, is there anything in the backpack that can help us? Yes, yes. Let's see, hmm. <laughs> this won't do. My hair. This will do. Perfect, let me see. All right, guys, let's find those gems. Let's spread out and let's find them. No, no, no. There's a snake and a gym. Someone, please come help. Yes. Oh, yes, look, look, it's a snake. D did you guys know that snakes, they don't even have eyelids and they actually have to swallow their, their, their food whole because Grant, they can't chew. Grant, read the room. Don't worry, Shayla, we'll take care of this. Casey, get the gym. Right, me, I'll go do it. I'll get the gym. This, this better be a video game. Uh, let's see, hey. This will work. Bye! Level complete. Level black. We have all sinned. This black gem represents sin. Because of Jesus' death on the cross, our sins can be forgiven. Think black is for sin. Awesome! We're finding gems, learning things, learning about God. We're crushing this game. Yeah. Now let's go get some more gems. Casey, why are you sitting down on the job? What? I did my part. I found my gem. Can I get out of the game now, Mr. Narrator? <laughs> Casey, don't move. There's a gator with a gem in its mouth. What? <laughs> I, I got this, guys. I've read how to get gems out of alligator's mouth. Floridian kids, don't do this at home. Wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got it. Level complete. Level red. Christ died for us so we can be forgiven of our sins. The red gem represents the blood of Jesus that was shed when he died on the cross for us. Think, red is for Jesus' blood that was shed for us. Wow, that is awesome. Let, let's, let's continue our quest, you guys. I'm still hungry. I wonder if there's anything in this bag that I can eat. Casey, I'm sure we'll get you some food somewhere. Oh, this red Jeep, I can't eat that. That Jeep, it might be a clue. 